Let's begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear friends, today we celebrate the Universal Society of Jesus, celebrates the feast day of the third General Superior after St. Ignatius of Loyola of the Society of Jesus, St. Francis Borgia. My dear friends, we also apologize uh, for uh, the absence of Father Bert Bohols, sa mga fans po ni Father Bert Bohols. Uh, please pray for him. He's having a medical checkup. So, uh, so once again, uh, we take over. My dear friends, as we begin our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, let us now ask for God's forgiveness, for God's mercy, for truly we have sinned. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who called St. Francis Borgia from a royal court to your humble service, Grant through his intercession that those who, dead to sin, have renounced the world, may live for you alone. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, he who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, I am amazed that you are so quickly forsaking the one who called you by the grace of Christ for a different gospel, not that there is another. But there are some who are disturbing you and wish to pervert the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you a gospel other than the one that we preach to you, let that one be a curse. As we have said before, and now I say again, if anyone preaches to you a gospel other than the one that you receive, let that one be a curse. Am I now currying favor with human beings or God? Or am I seeking to please people? If I were still trying to please people, I would not be a slave of Christ. Now I want you to know brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. The work of his hands are faithful and just. Sure are all his precepts. 
reliable forever and ever, wrought in truth and equity. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. He has sent deliverance to his people. He has ratified his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. His praise endures forever. The Lord will remember his covenant forever. Alleluia, alleluia. I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear friends, the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a scholar of the law who stood up to test Jesus and said, Teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? He said in reply, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your being, with all your strength, and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. He replied to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But because he wished to justify himself, he said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, A man fell victim to robbers as he went down from Jerusalem to Jericho. They stripped and beat him and went off, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down that road, but when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. Likewise, a Levite came to the place, and when he saw him, he passed by on the opposite side. But a Samaritan traveler who came upon him was moved with compassion at the sight. He approached the victim, poured oil and wine over his wounds, and bandaged them. Then he lifted him up on his own animal, took him to an inn, and cared for him. The next day he took out two silver coins and gave them to the innkeeper with instruction, Take care of him. If you spend more than what I have given you, I shall repay you on my way back. Which of these three, in your opinion, was neighbor to the robber's victim? He answered, The one who treated him with mercy. Jesus said to him, Go and do likewise. My dear friends, the gospel of the good news of our Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. During the rainy season, like now, Sapang Palay in Bulacan would be wet, muddy, slippery. It was one of the biggest relocation sites for the poor in Metro Manila. Early morning, every Sunday as novices, we would ride old, crowded public buses or jeepneys that would bring us to the faraway hills of Sapang Palay. The first task was to celebrate Mass with the community. Then, after the Mass, we would visit houses, eat with families, and hear their stories. At the end of the day, we would return to the novitiate, tired, sweaty, grimy. The Sunday Apostolate, as we termed it, was a special part of the early stage of our formation as Jesuits. It was meant to teach us the valuable lesson that love was meant to be concrete, And in its concreteness, love can be difficult, messy, and complicated, like the very incarnation of Christ. After our two-year novitiate, and even today, many of us have continued to be involved in the lives of the families we had known in Sapang Palay. Difficult and complicated at times, but through the years, we have helped with a scholarship of one or two children, a husband's employment opportunity abroad, someone's small capital for a livelihood, and so on and so forth. Indeed, some of them have become long-time friends, like Nana Mila, Nena, Susan, Femia, Tonyo, and many more. My dear friends, I recall this early Jesuit lesson as I reflected last night on our gospel today. The story of the Good Samaritan is one of our favorite parables. 
In this, Jesus is teaching us to become good neighbors like the Samaritan by showing mercy to the needy like the victim of robbery in Jesus' parable. But last night, I found myself asking just how good was the good Samaritan for Jesus to hold him up to us as an exemplar or model of Christian virtue. The gospel tells us, first, he approached the victim and attended to his wounds with oil, wine, and bandages. Indeed, the Samaritan could have ended there. That first aid response would have been enough. But no, he continued. He followed through. Love always follows through. He brought the victim to an inn and provided him with comfortable beddings and food to hasten his recovery. Again, the Samaritan's good deed or charity could have ended there. But no, he told the innkeeper that he would be coming back for the man and pay for everything that his total care would cost. That, my dear friends, was how good this good Samaritan was. The help he offered was not a one-time deal or a token. It was a real commitment made of, of concrete actions and even follow-ups or follow-throughs. From the start of his pontificate, Pope Francis has taught us this same lesson. Speaking on Christian charity, he asked, When you give alms, do you touch the hand of the person asking? And do you look them in the eyes? Charity, he said, is not philanthropy. Neither is the church merely a social worker or an NGO. For him, like in all of our faith, it is all about relationships, about the encounters between people. In this year's celebration of the World Day of the Poor, he said, Where the poor are concerned, it is not talk that matters. What matters is rolling up our sleeves and putting our faith into practice through a direct involvement, one that cannot be delegated. And so in the end, the Pope tells us true charity requires courage. Let us overcome the fear of getting our hands dirty so as to help those in need. After a long day in Sapang Palay, tired, sweaty, and muddy, we would go directly to our chapel for the exposition of the Blessed Sacrament. And as the sun sets down, and as we pray in the midst of the smoke from and the scent of incense, many of us would be in tears, thinking, praying, thanking God, for we have encountered that same blessed, beautiful body of our Lord among His broken people in Sapang Palay. It was always for me a glimpse and a taste of heaven. Amen. Even today, many lie by the side of the road waiting for liberating words or a helping hand. Let us pray to the Father in heaven that our love may be expressed in concrete action rather than in beautiful words. Our response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church in our pastors and people may show the love of God through active love of neighbors, we pray. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. That those who work for the destitute will never lose heart or be discouraged, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may treat every person we meet with kindness and respect, we pray. 
Lord, hear our prayer. That the lonely and the infirm in our society may not be ignored or passed by, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring those who have died to his eternal kingdom, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Mateo Flores, Melissa Trash, Joseph Tumbali, Badong Natividad, Domet Atienza, Hide van der Waal, Alec Bajola, Jed Calendula, Mark Cervantes, Chari Roda, Tox Lopez, Nathalie Estefan, Maite Munoz, and Patti Siakor, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Jose de Leon, Temay Padero, Bong Pineda, Peter de Guzman, Linda Ferrer, Adrian Josh Baluyot, and Tessie Perez, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Emily Fermachon, Eleazar Bautista, Renato Gonzalez, and Lerma Calma de Uduco, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Malu Villanueva and family, Aga Camarata, Beth Montesilio, Ray and Vicky Liao and family, Johnny and Nena Go and family, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. God our Father, as we pray for others, we ask you to help us to love and serve our neighbors. And so welcome your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Through the mystery of this water and wine, may be able to share in Christ's divinity, humble able to share in our humanity. Blessed be God Blessed forever. are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual bread. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. As we approach your altar with contrite hearts, O Lord, make us decrease so that your Son, Jesus Christ, might increase, he who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayer sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My dear friends, the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, our bishops, all the clergy, and all your faithful. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, the Blessed Apostles, all the saints, including St. Borgia, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. We now pray to our Father in the words our Savior taught us. Our, our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us now pray for peace, peace in our hearts, in our souls, in our families, and in our communities. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. 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 The body and blood of Christ. Amen.
Let us always carry about in our body the dying of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be manifested in our body. Let us pray. Through the holy gifts we have received, O Lord, set our hearts on fire, we pray, that we may most gladly spend ourselves and be utterly spent for the salvation of all people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, the Mass is ended. Let us go serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Sin, but...